new technologies and changing shopping habits are redefining the retail business globally with online being an important strategy for any retailer who is focusing on reaching a wider audience. And for those who are online, the convenience of reach and profits amass, such is the case with the online retail giant Amazon. Today, Amazon is one of the most valuable public companies on the planet, pushing into multiple categories from groceries to hardware, online videos, fashion, cloud services and multiple of delivery. Started as a small online book retailer, it has become a global phenomenon, spanning advances in artificial intelligence, and the streaming of movies and sports. And that has brought Amazon much criticism. Ranging from accusations, it has contributed to the decline of the high street to complaints about working conditions in its vast warehouses. But this e-commerce juggernaut is continuously dominating and is the world's eighth largest retailer that is aggressively expanding its delivery network to get packages to Prime members faster. Amazon's innovation can be clearly seen in its financial results. In 2018, it became the world's second ever public company to be valued at 1 trillion US dollar after Apple. And today it has the third highest market valuation in US after Apple and Microsoft. The huge success of the online giant is also evident in its revenue. Sales for 2020 reached 386 billion US dollar, up from 280 billion US dollar a year earlier. Net profit almost doubled to 21 billion US dollar. According to the Wall Street Journal, Amazon generated 27% of total retail growth and accounted for US dollar 0.42 of every US dollar 1 of growth in e-commerce. Despite its size, Amazon managed to increase its worldwide revenue by 28% in the first quarter, to a total of US dollar 29.1 billion. In addition to its retail success, Amazon's cloud service and Amazon Web Services saw 64% revenue growth year on year, accounting for 56% of Amazon's operating income in the quarter. Over the past five years, Amazon has created more than 150,000 jobs in the U.S., growing its workforce in the country to 180,000 by the end of last year. Its other businesses, such as Marketplace and Amazon Flex, will also create hundreds of thousands of jobs for people who want the flexibility to be an entrepreneur and set their own schedules. Employing 45,000 robots, up by 50% year-on-year, Amazon is also building a US dollar 1.5 billion hub for its own cargo airline, capturing 0.7% of the UK grocery market in a mere six months. After launch, and showed a record holiday season in 2016 by shipping over 1 billion items. In 1995, Amazon launches with online book sales, and it all began with selling books. However, the huge stockpiling space that the company had at the time in the US helped Amazon become a leader in the sector, and enabled it to offer a wider selection of books than its bricks and mortar rivals. Then ebooks arrived and Amazon was smart enough to become a key player in that market too. In 1999, Amazon becomes the biggest online sales platform in the world. In the late 1990s, Amazon decided to start selling other goods, starting with music and DVDs. Soon, Amazon's empire grew to include electronics, toys and kitchen utensils. The growing network of U.S. warehouses helped extend what the company could offer, dramatically increasing its popularity with customers. Ten years later, Amazon had become the biggest online seller in the U.S. and around the world. Following the creation of Amazon Marketplace in 2000, which opened the platform up to thousands of small businesses, Amazon felt the need to boost its delivery service for loyal customers. Amazon Prime was launched in 2005. More than 100 million paying customers are now members of subscription service Amazon Prime, which also offers video and music streaming. It is the second largest paid membership program in the world. In 2007, Amazon launches its first consumer product, the Kindle. Amazon never forgot its bookselling origins. When ebooks started to become popular, Amazon launched the Kindle in 2007, eventually becoming the global leader in the sector. The Amazon Smart Devices department grew exponentially, 
facing fierce competition from Apple and Google in the early 2010s. Amazon, however, was the first company to launch a smart device, the Echo Speaker, equipped with the firm's own artificial intelligence system, Alexa. It is now the third largest seller of smart devices in the U.S. Today, the future of Amazon looks a bit more complicated than just selling products on the internet. Having successfully dominated online retail, the firm has now set its sights on expanding its services and perhaps surprisingly, into physical stores to create a new way of shopping. So what makes Amazon successful? Its aggressive push in apparel and fashion businesses. The online retailer is aggressively expanding in the fashion business, owning seven fashion brands in addition to Zappos footwear brand, and is working hard to grow these numbers through acquisitions. According to Cowan and Company, the gross merchandise value of the Amazon U.S. apparel business will grow from U.S. dollar 15 billion in 2016 to U.S. dollar 50 billion by 2020. And Cowan also predicts that Amazon will be the number one apparel retailer in the U.S. next year, achieving 14% market share. According to Piper Joffrey, Amazon Prime grew by 51% globally in 2015 bringing its total membership to an estimated 55 to 60 million. And this growth contributor is not just to the US, but also Japan and Europe that have started demonstrating traction. With more than 0.1 million customer reviews, out of which 62,000 include a 5-star rating, the Fire TV Stick is the most reviewed product ever offered on Amazon. On Amazon's first quarter earnings, the management reiterated its commitment to invest in content and said that the company had spent nearly US$10 billion in capex in the past year to grow its fulfillment capacity. Amazon grasped the importance of speedy shipping earlier than many rivals and invested accordingly. With more than 100 warehouses in the US alone, it has kept accelerating its delivery from 48 hours to next day to the evening of the same day. The company has recently expanded its same-day delivery service, Prime Now, to Italy, Japan and the UK. Cowan and Company estimates that 25% of Prime members have used Prime Now. Recently, Amazon has also signed two separate agreements covering the leasing of 40 Boeing cargo planes to be used for Prime Air deliveries. Apart from the above listings on Amazon's success, 2017 is going to be another exciting year for the e-tailer which plans to increase its emphasis on logistics, open brick and mortar stores, invest in original content such as movies, documentaries, etc. And looks at an overdrive in India. With a remarkable end in 2016 marked by the opening of Amazon Go, its first store that sells prepared food and grocery staples in Seattle, Amazon is also making a small push towards bookstores which one can expect to grow more from four in 2017. While globally Amazon is putting together specific strategies in place, it became the second largest online marketplace in India by shipments and gross merchandise value, after Flipkart. The e-commerce giant also announced an additional US$3 billion investment, taking its total investment in India to US$5 billion. It also launched its popular subscription-based program Amazon Prime to drive customer loyalty and announced to soon introduce its Prime Video service. Recently, the firm launched its Global Store for Indian customers enabling them to buy products sold on its U.S. website while paying in Indian currency. Prior to this, when customers from India bought things on Amazon's U.S. website, they had to pay in dollars. With its growing focus on a seamless logistic support and assortment of products driven by technology, Amazon has been able to clock a good holiday season sales as compared to other retailers. However, for this resolute e-tailer, the journey doesn't stop here as it seeks to expand in other areas of the retail industry 